Demand for fuel is increasing worldwide. As the DOD's largest consumer of aviation fuel, the Air Force is looking into alternative fuel sources. Currently we import 56% of the oil that we use in the U.S. And over time, we need to start developing domestic resources as alternatives that could be used to make fuel for aviation. One option is synthetic fuel processed from sources other than crude oil. The B-52 flight tested a blend of 50% regular JP-8 jet fuel and 50% synthetic jet fuel derived from natural gas through the fischer tropsch process, named after the two German engineers who invented it in the 1920s. The feedstock for this process uh, could include natural gas, or it could be coal or, or oil shale, those types of things would also work as a starting material. Uh, the United States has uh, significant reserves in coal and oil shale, something on the order of two trillion barrel equivalents. The B-52 was chosen as a test platform because its eight engines allowed for a measure of safety if anything went wrong, but also because it has separate fuel tanks for each of its four pairs of engines. In a B-52, we could put fischer tropsch fuel, or the blend we're using, in that one uh, tank and in effect assure ourselves that we're getting a pure test, that we're not having bleed through of different kinds of fuel uh, into those engines. Preliminary results show the synthetic fuel blend performed as well as the standard fuel. The demonstration flight was successful, but the test itself wasn't completed. The flight was cut short due to an unrelated mechanical issue with the B-52's left wingtip landing gear. The B-52 landed without incident. Staff Sergeant Jay Fury, Edwards Air Force Base, California.